your struggles and recognizes your need. He sees your rejection. He sees your unwillingness. He sees your brokenness. He sees your hurt and your pain. Number two, God knows each of our situations. God says, sin can't get out of your way. Give it to me. He says, sin is holding you back. Give it to me. And thirdly, he says, my grace is sufficient. God changes the course of our lives by his great mercies and his grace. The Bible says the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. When we recognize that we need Jesus in our lives, then we will be thankful that he laid down his life on the cross of Calvary. The Greek word for typos means God stamps a new way of life in our hearts. When we take Jesus as our Savior, that which we did yesterday, yeah, God said you had to pay for it, but guess what? He says, I've already taken it from your life. Never be ashamed of your past or even your this morning. Never be ashamed of what you may do tomorrow. Give it to God now, and God will make it just always. When you look at this young lady's life, she was trapped in her sin. Undoubtedly, as the scripture said, she deserved to be stoned. How many of you ever felt that you did something so bad that you just said, God, you ought to take my life right now? Amen. Amen. I guess I'm the only one so by myself this morning. I don't need nobody else to throw a rock at me. I can throw a rock at my own self. Because you don't know my story like I know my story. You don't know where God brought me from like I know what God brought me from. So I can speak to myself and say, Seth, guess what? Yeah, you used to be kind of ugly. Yes, you used to be this. Yes, you messed up and did this. Yes. Oh, yeah, I remember that too. I can talk to myself because when I talk to myself, then I begin to talk to God and say, oh, yeah, God, I know you know too. And I'm showing up back that you don't put my business in the street. I'm showing up back that when I told you and I brought it to your presence, you said, guess what? You my child. And I'm going to pick you up. I'm going to turn you around. And I'm going to place your feet on solid ground. You see, when Jesus tells you that your accusers are standing in front of you, and they have those rocks, those stones, ready to condemn you, don't worry about it. Don't try to duck. Don't try to hide. Don't get fretful. Don't be afraid. Because Jesus... At some point in time, oh, yeah. it's going to get up from right now oh, yeah. in the grave yeah. and begin to rewrite your story. Yeah. And he's going to look at those accusers that got those red rocks ready to hurl at you because of what you've done in your life. And he said, wait a minute. I've already made a way. Uh-huh. Wait a minute. I've already fixed it. When Jesus looked at that woman, he says, where are your accusers? She said, Lord, there is none that can deal me. He said, neither do I. You see, that's what Jesus done for us. He says, I know your name. I know you deserve to die, but guess what? I died for you. I know you deserve to be put in the dirt, but guess what? I had the dirt thrown on top of me so that you can be clean. Jesus moved the dirt from our lives. That which somebody tried to throw on us and even that which we threw on ourselves. But guess what? Just like Jesus got up in the newness of life. Just like Jesus got up from the grave, you and I who are born again shall we will get up from our earthly graves and go to a heavenly father. Jesus knows your name because he's louder, he's bigger, and he's better than all of your problems. Jesus knows your name because you are his child. Jesus knows your name Because one day you gave him your heart and he took your hand. Mm -hmm. Jesus knows your name because he died just for you. Yes, he died for me. But our sins, though they may be sin, are personal. You can't go to God for me and I can't go to God for you. We got to go for ourselves. We have to be willing. 
You say, Jesus, come into my heart. And when Jesus comes into your heart, all the trouble that you ever face, all the guilt, the shame, the pain that you've been carrying in your heart, he says, give it to me. Lay it down. Walk away. And when you do, you'll know that I know your name. And when you do, you know that you know my name. How many of y'all told somebody what somebody else what God has done for you? How many of you ever shared your testimony that if it had not been for God on your side, you don't know where you would be? You see, God loves us so much that he would never leave us in the shape that we're in. Some of us still got some things we need to let go of, but guess what? We still his child. Some of us still got some problems that we haven't given him, but guess what? We still his child. Some of us have not the faith that he has given us, but guess what? We're still his child. Some of us have forsaken him, but yet we are still his child. Some of us have lied to him, but he says, that's okay. Some of us have taken his name in vain, but he said, that's okay. He said, because I am who I am. Know that I am the one that laid down my life for you. Know my name, because I know yours. How many of you ever sit on your bed stool at the edge of the bed just crying because you've been hurt? You've been harmed? And you ask God why. And as those tears flow down your eyes, you can think about all the pain and, that you afflicted in your own life. The trouble that you brought on yourself. The things you did to hurt God and hurt yourself. And those tears were just flowing and flowing and flowing. And all of a sudden you heard Jesus say, don't worry. I'm right here. Don't worry. I know your pain. Don't worry. I know your mistakes. Don't worry. I know your heart is troubled. Don't worry. I know your spirit is broken. Don't worry. Because guess what? I know your name. You may not know. You may only know the name that you use every day that you introduce other people yourself to. You might tell them you're Wayne, but I tell you, you're my child. Right. You might tell them that your name is Lamont, but I tell them you are the one I forgave. Right. You are the one who may say your last name is Montgomery, but I am the one who picked you up and turned you all away. Right. You see, when we know God and God knows our name, he gives us a new name. Right. He don't need to call us by our mother, the earthly given name. He calls us by the name of Jesus because he must look at his sacrifice. And say, God, you can't condemn them because I've already done it on the cross of God. Somebody today, Jesus knows your name. Stop carrying around that pain and that hurts and give it to him. Somebody's been wondering if he truly is a friend that'll stick closer to the world. Somebody's really been wondering if he is faithful as he said he is. Somebody's wondering if you can trust him. Well, I'm here to tell you, you can trust him. I'm here to tell you, you can have faith in him. Because what he's done for me, I did not deserve what he's done for each of you. You didn't deserve it because of who he is. He doesn't give us what we deserve. But in him, we've been given life. And life more abundantly. We're going to open the doors to the church. And if you're here, we ask you to come. And give your life to Jesus. If you need to rededicate your life, we ask you to come. If you've been out of the house of prayer for a while, come and reunite with yourself with God. God knows your name. And he's waiting and he's willing to pick you up and to turn you around. God knows. 
ये जवान नहीं There's a dullness to the church all. If you really want God to come into your life and take control, you don't have to look at the person beside you, but just wave your hand and say, "In your silent prayer, Jesus." We thank God for His preached words. We thank God for His message. Most of all, we thank you for His Son and our Savior, Jesus Christ the Lord. Because truthfully, if we got Jesus, that's all we ever gonna need. Amen. Again, we just thank each of you all for your presence. All those who have joined us on Facebook, we pray that you have been strengthened in your soul. And we pray that you have given God your heart and all of your troubles, for God knows your name. We pray God will keep you and God will bless you. Amen. Amen.